James and Kevin take you places you've never seen. Ain't no place they have never been. James and Kevin, hey, come on, let's in. They're everybody's king. James and Kevin, James and Kevin. It's the James and Kevin Show. James and Kevin, James and Kevin. It's the James and Kevin Show. Scoot the rat and do it and do it at Welcome to the Elevator Show. My name is Douglas Schwartz. I'm your host. Today we are very special to have two of the pilots of the Otis 1.3 project. They are Ward Blipchuk and Mike O'Brien. Gentlemen, 27 floors, way up. How did you feel about it? Well, Doug, it's, it's different. It's big. It's, um, what can you say? It's, it's 27 floors and... It's the biggest uh, elevator ride that's been attempted. But um, I know that, uh, as I've often been told, it's, it's really not the size of it, you know, it's, it's how frequently you run into dysfunction. Well, uh, it's up to me to uh, make sure that we are still progressing upwards, in an upward motion as opposed to a downward motion, in which case we could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, if we are going in a downward motion, I uh, have to monitor how fast we're going down and uh, whether it's critical or not that uh, we jump out of the elevator. What is the thrill for you? Why are you doing this? I, I guess everybody has, has different reasons, you know. Um, I mean, what, uh, some people do it for heroism, like what's, what's a hero, you know? To me, a hero is a sandwich, but it's a sandwich that can save lives. Hi, and welcome to another edition of The Elevator Show. I'm Jib Cab, and with me today is Bradley Patalis, Elvinot. How you doing? Great. So what can you tell me? We're uh, three weeks away from the major launch of Otis 1.3. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very nervous. I'm, I'm so nervous, I just hope we can get it up that day. Excellent. Otis 1.3, 27 floors, a first for this city. How's your family? Uh, they're, they're very encouraging. They're, uh, they're scared as hell. But, uh, you know, I'm doing it for them. So, you know, that's my motivation. I want to I wanna be there for them. And uh, that's, that's why I became an Elvinaut in the first place. Now, I heard they pulled the fire alarms from this one. There are no fire alarms anywhere near this elevator shaft, that's right. simply because it's a new technology. They're expecting a lot of smoke, so you can take it for granted. Does that make you feel more comfortable or less comfortable that there's one less There's a million alarm? people have put their ideas into this elevator. If they think that having no fire alarm or no fire escape or no life preservers or no air, is a good thing, then I'll go along with that. You know, I'm a player in this game. I'm here for them. They're not here for me. Yeah. Mike, you mentioned uh, heroes, and heroes often face danger, and I'll ask you again, will this be dangerous? You, you keep mentioning that. Uh, like, <clears throat> did somebody tell you that it was? Or? Uh, no, no, it is 27 floors. It's never been done before. There must be some element of danger involved. They promised us. No danger. They said that. So I heard you quit your job for this. You had a job that many men would, would die for. That's Madonna's right. personal massage therapist. You gave that all up to become an Elvinaut. It's a sacrifice. I know it. And being with Madonna was something that, well, not a lot of men, well, maybe I should rephrase that. Uh, being in a position uh, with Madonna is something that a lot of men, well, maybe that's not right either. Uh, well, you know, I, I, there's other things to do. Well, I get motion sickness very easily, and uh, it set in. And uh, after having a big lunch and uh, brunch and breakfast and uh, late night of drinking, I, I, I threw up. And uh, the doctor said it was quite, quite uh, acceptable for me to do so. It, it's not unusual in that sort of situation. Gentlemen, as Elvin Ox, our viewers want to know a little bit more about your personal lives. Uh, what do you do when you're not uh, Elvin Ox? Uh, Mike? Uh, when I'm not actually at the office being an Elvenaut, I am uh, an Elvenaut impersonator. It's 
go out on the circuit, you know. And people like to see what they think is the real thing, you know. Like you get on an escalator and you take that up and stuff, and Excellent. the kids love it. Excellent. Well, basically, I am there to support the other players. Uh, the biggest role I'll have is uh, I get to press the up button. The up button. But there's so many buttons there. How, do you know that at that critical time you will find the right one? That's why we're going through so much rigorous training. Uh, I mean, from what I understand and from my experience is that uh, there will be a triangular shaped arrow pointing in the direction of up. And uh, for me, uh, my job is to, at the right time, uh, Kevin will give the word, we will actually have me uh, press that button. And, uh, and it should light up. It, it, everything goes well. We should light it up. And uh, that'll be the starting point. That'll be the takeoff. That'll be the gusto goal. Up we go. Now, gentlemen, we tried to have Evil James uh, on the show today, but uh, due to a couple of legal technicalities, uh, he couldn't be here. But he did send an uh, uh, affidavit, a sworn affidavit, and I'll read that to you now. And I quote, I apologize to my fans, but I swear she said she was over 18, close quote. Sincerely, Evil James Whittingham. Any comments to that? I knew her. A lot of guys did. She was my sister. It's probably going to make the trip a little tense. But I'm a professional? As is she. Of course, everyone knows about my donut liking. Uh, uh, not crawlers, of course, but we're talking a honey dip, a chocolate, chocolate glazed, uh, sometimes a sprinkle and a sugar coated, uh, maybe a twist. Um, the, the cinnamon bun version of a donut is, is also a favorite of mine. Uh, that is what the, the mission entails, is getting up there and, and getting that uh, deep-fried pastry. Every man in their life has a chance to do something. We're going to do something together. We're going to reach the top. We're going to make it. Everybody dies. Not everybody gets a chance to die a hero. He's got an ointment or something for it. All right, gentlemen, be seated. Before we get started, let's do a little roll call. O'Brien! Do you want here or present? Yes, O'Brien. I can be either. Here we find. Here, sir. Patalis. 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 Here, sir. Whittingham. Here. Pile of pip check. It's pronounced Plitcha. Yeah, whatever. Evil James. Evil James. Oh. Mm. Ah, good. Come on in. All right, men. There's no easy way to say this, so I'm just going to be blunt. Tomorrow's show will be the last one. Our ratings have been sagging. Because of that, the elevator show has been scrubbed. It's a no-go. Oh, that can't be! I haven't gone up yet. Well, you should have thought of that before you gave Holden a hot coffee facial. Shut up, vomit boy. What are we on the second floor, getting a little nauseous, a little high up for you? You look a little white there. Maybe, maybe, maybe you think the room is spinning, huh? Maybe the cable gauge is too small. Don't say that. It was the wrong gauge. All right, knock it off, you two, damn it! Knock it off! Oh. Oh. Now let's go over tomorrow's itinerary. Well, men, this being our 13th mission, I don't expect any real problems. We're a well-oiled machine, so we'll just run an abbreviated facts check today. All right? Now, if I were to press this button, where would I end up? Patalis? Four, sir. Good work, Patalis. I knew if you put your mind to it, you'd come through. Well, I took your advice, sir. I quit my job to devote all my time to training. And it paid off, didn't it? 
Well, since you're on a roll, Fatalis, what if I pressed this button? Where would I end up? Okay, that's all right. That's all right. It was a trick question. Warren, where would I end up? That would be 12, sir. 12. All right, James, where would we end up? Well, sir, it depends on the thickness of the gauge of the cable. The thickness of the cable. It's a variable, see? Inversely, the thickness. Right. Well, O'Brien, you gonna step up to the plate and take a swing? Um, I thought the first guy was gonna get it, so I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Evil James, you take a shot at it. Damn it, Warren, go get Evil James. Evil James, where where'd you go? E evil, J e where are you? I just hope when we get to the top, the crawlers still have that just deep fried smell. I know and love. Now screw the crawlers, man. I'm going for a chocolate chip muffin with butter. Just follow my lead. You'll do fine. Okay. Uh, I should keep the bark bag in my right pocket? Yep, press pocket. Makes for easier access from the turbulence. Yeah, so, I remember being like you guys. Excuse me, sir? Like you two, I remember being like you two. No, I heard what you said. I mean, excuse me, like, I can't believe you interrupted us. Sorry. Continue. No. No, I forgot what I was going to say. You might as well tell your little anecdote. I'm sure it'll inspire us. You know, I've been using elevators for years now, and until you explained it to me, I didn't know they could be so dangerous. You know, a lot of people don't get the elevator it's due. The elevator is a cruel mistress, son. Treat her bad, and she'll rain down fury on you like a mothball dipped in ketchup. Treat her, treat her good like a queen, and... <clears throat> She'll let you live to see another day, maybe. <coughs> That's when I dropped the pillow. Look! What? Jim's lunchbox. Is that a Pop Tart? Oh, the, the wrappers. Uh huh. Burritos. Right? Bean burritos. Yeah? And James's lunchbox. Mm-hmm. No, an elevator, a confined space, bean burritos. James, beans. I don't get it. Oh my God, James! As of this moment, you're scrapped from the mission. Why? Look at that lunchbox. Yeah. The burrito wrappers. Yeah. Evil James is taking your place. Commander Evil James, prepare for go, no-go sequencing. 
Roger that. Door open. Roger. Door closed. I think we have a problem here. It will close. Abort. Abort. I repeat. Abort. For the love of God, abort. Oh, never mind. I thought she wouldn't get it made in time. What's that? His wife knits him one every show. Otis 1.3 is a go. relationship is different. Uh, usually we become friends first before making it. That's not mind. what I meant. How do we get this thing going up? That's what I was talking about. Otis 1.3, what's wrong? Nothing, everything's fine. Over. Just press the up button. Uh, roger that. Another citation in this for you. Keep it up. Otis 1.3, we have massive system failure across the board. Well, everything's fine here, nothing to worry about. Sit tight. We have to evaluate the situation. Absolutely sure. 
as far as I can figure it out. Commander Evil James, do you copy? Go ahead, Captain. We've been doing some calculations down here. To get you to the top, we're gonna have to cut your power to one-third. What does that mean? Well, that means you're only gonna have enough power to go straight to the top and come right back down. All right, we'll let you know when we have the coffee and bullets and you can bring us back home. Over. Negative, negative. That's a negative on the Java and nuts. We'll only have enough power to get you to the top and straight back down. Do you copy? What? What do you mean, no, Java? This is my last mission. I won't stand for this. Listen, evil one. If you so much as think about holding that elevator and exiting the car while you gorge yourself on donuts, the car will expend all of its energy and you will never see the ground again. Do you copy? This is not right! This is not right! <laughs> Do you copy? Yeah, we copy. We have to make some calculations regarding which button to push when you reach the top. Stay sharp and wait for it. through and I, I owed one of them some money or something that I had to put in the elevator and had to go up. The monkeys were smoking a little cigar thing. It's a confined space. The monkeys can't smoke. They can't smoke. They died. The smell of death was everywhere. I survived apparently in a hospital for six months. Every damn mission I go on, death. I can't have a successful mission. Yeah, you were on uh, Otis 4, weren't you? I remember that. Yeah, that's the one where the, the music system played uh, Mariah Carey and Michael Bolton at the same time. Like, three people died. Well, Brian, if my ears weren't clogged with wax, I'd be one of those men. They went nuts. They started eating the flesh of their fellow comrade. Just six minutes in, just death everywhere. But my ears that couldn't hear. Thank God. Thank God for your poor hygiene. Do you think that they have music in heaven? Well, son, I... I've never been, but I hope so. I really do. Allardyce, what the hell is this? The told is 1.3, sir. She's in trouble. What kind of trouble? There's barely enough power to bring her back down, sir. And we're having trouble calculating which button to press at the apex to bring her back down. What is it, Walker? If we don't figure out a way to lighten them up by at least 27 pounds, they're going to slam the bottom of the shaft at 300 miles per hour! Damn it! When are we going to stop building them so high? I spy with my little eyes something that is... Overalls again. Overalls again. Overalls. 
Mm -hmm. Good. A, uh, I spy with my eye something that is like a light blue. Your overalls. <coughs> We're coming up to the apex, sir. How close are we to find out which button to press? Uh, I'll have to figure that out, sir. Do you want that in seconds or minutes? Oh, forget it. Otis 1.3, do you copy? Roger, go ahead, over Roger. You're coming up on the apex. We're still having trouble with the calculations. Stay tuned. Roger that, over. Roger. Ah, deep fried pastry and delicious fat, eh? No, no, negative. Whatever you do, don't leave the car. You'll never see the ground again. Do you hear me? Don't leave the car. Uh, roger that. <laughs> that Kevin, what a kidder. I'm just gonna go, uh, you know, I'll get the door. You guys stay put, and I'll be right back. Hey, he, he said to stay put. Yeah, I heard him. Look, listen, Kevin's quite the drinker, right? You can't really trust him. He's, uh, he's probably on the bottle right now. Just, uh... What seems to be the problem? James, I'm glad you could make it. We've lost power, we're down to one-third, and we're having a tough time with those apex calculations as well. Oh, and by the way, we're 27 pounds too heavy. I've got it! We can take off the clothes! Good work, nerd boy! I'll get to work on the weight problem in the simulator right away. Twenty seconds to apex, sir. Captain, what are we gonna do? Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Apex. They've only got about 10 minutes left. What the hell could be causing this? The data shows that the protein readings are, are off the chart. 
protein. What on earth could be putting enough protein in the air to make it go bad? Boom, sir. All right, I'm going to try removing an article of clothing. An undershirt, I'm taking it off now. It's on the floor. I want to see if a shoe will work. There, it's off. Anything? You might as well give up. It's, it's, it's hopeless. I'm not giving up. But it's, it's almost lunch anyway. Oh, you're right, it's hopeless. Here, hold this. Wait a minute. The, the scale, it, it moved. Wait a minute, that's it. If we can somehow get some of the weight off the elevator car, we'll surely lighten it. That's the key. what they've got up there. We have to find some way of stopping the air from going bad using only what we have on this table. We don't have much time. That's it! That'll work. Mike, do you copy? Mike, come in. Mike, do you copy? Mike, come in. Yeah, I copy. Go ahead. Listen very carefully. We found a way to stop the air from going bad, but you don't have much time. Move a little bit closer to the speaker. We figured out a way to make your car lighter. You have to take off your jumpsuits and put them outside of the car. Okay, sir. I'll handle it. Evil James is in no shape to lead right now. Gentlemen, take your suits off. Warren, go help Evil James. Captain, I've got the situation under control. That's great, Mike. What did you do with the clothes? I put them on the roof. Good work, Mike. There could be a medal in this for you. Really? All right, Mike. You guys will be hitting the third floor in about 10 seconds. We're going to lose you for a couple of minutes due to the thickness of the cement. If all goes well, we'll meet you on the ground floor. See you on the other side, Captain. Hey, good work in there, Mike. I'm proud of you. Just doing my job, sir. 